All right. All right, all right, all right. Testing, one, two, three. Looks like we're good. Let's see. Hey, everybody. Good evening. Jeff here. About to play some, uh, some XCOM. Uh, XCOM 2. And give me a couple seconds to set up here. And then I will let you guys know what the deal is with this stream. I mean, the name alone probably should uh, tell you guys exactly what's going on. But uh, I might as well explain myself. <laughs> All right, so hopefully everybody's doing tonight uh, good tonight. Hello, I am Jeff, and this is our stream of XCOM 2 with friends. So what's going on in this stream here is um, XCOM 2 allows you to create characters um, that you can play with in the game. Yo, Stax, you're actually on screen right now. That's you, bro. I made you. Anyways, so... Um, in XCOM 2, you're able to create your own characters um, that you can then use in the game, and you can customize characters you get. But long story short, in XCOM 2, uh, what they did was they created this character pool that allowed you to create basically a stable of characters um, who can appear in your game one way or another. And so I thought it would be funny as shit to throw all of us in the game. So there's me. I'm Dad. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's Tony, who you guys might know from the Let's Plays on our channel. Looking like a badass. Uh, let's see. Stax is in here. There are you. That's you, bro. I hope it's up to your... <laughs> up to your uh, standards. Uh, but basically, uh, I sent out a little notice to everybody on uh, Facebook. If you were in that notice, you're in this fucking game and you might appear and you might get fucking shot to death. Um, um, weird, I don't remember what the fuck that was. <laughs> um, so among other things, uh, we're going to do veteran. Let's see. I'm not going to worry about the tutorial. Um, among other things, one of the things you're able to do with that stable is you're able to create VIP people. Um, uh, so what we did is we created a stable of VIP waifus, such as Tubi and Hatsune Miku and Asuka Langley and a bunch of other ones. Uh, you guys might have seen it on the previous screen, but uh, my ass is not going to give away who's who. Um, and it's going to be a total surprise to see which waifus we get to liberate from the the alien cucking hordes. Uh, so without further ado, uh, we're also going to do Iron Man. So if you die in the game, you die in real life. And there's no going back. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, so for those of you who are not aware, XCOM 2 and XCOM, uh, the XCOM series, I should say, is a uh, turn-based strategy game uh, in which you um, uh, use the soldiers under your command to take care of um, uh, uh, missions in which you try to accomplish certain objectives um, in order to get through the game um, and beat the aliens. Um, in the first game, you won against the aliens, but what you find out in this game, um, and they will explain that shortly, actually, is that... Um, oh, what's the... Fuck, I'm at, kind of at a loss for it. You find out that pretty much everything that happened in the first game, outside of, like, the first three missions, uh, was all crazy virtual reality stuff. Yo, Simon is here. Hello, Simon. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful evening. I also hope the stream quality is okay. If you guys would be so kind as to actually let me know. Um, if the audio levels are everything and everything are okay. If they are good, if not, I can uh, switch things around. But I think it should be okay. Okay. 
So this opening part here, I mean, it sets the stage. It's actually really cool. It's kind of like this crazy alien dystopian thing that I really like. Oh shit, is that Smug Wendy? Uh, pretty much everybody who uh, got that tag is uh, in the game as a possible soldier. Um, however, we have one meme who might be fighting along with us, and that would be uh, the Wendy meme. Uh-oh. They don't like this guy. They're like, are you PC, brah? You better be PC, brah. Everyone's equal. Check your privilege, brah. They're really bad at their fucking jobs. None of that even makes any sense. So how does that get all of them but not him? Oh, because he dropped down and the... Yeah, Smug Wendy, bruh. Smug Wendy fucking did it, bruh. Oh my god, bruh. Alright, I don't know who those fucking people are, so I have a feeling they're just canned people for the animation here. Um, what would be coming up here would be a tutorial, but uh, since we decided to skip the tutorial, uh, we won't be playing that mission, luckily. We're heading into the city oh shit, okay, it looks like it's uh, Simon. Simon, you're the guy with the dreadlocks on the right and the mutton chops. Uh, Hassan, uh, Tano, and I didn't see who the guy was on the left side there. Yo, Brian, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy my stream. Looks like we're gonna go blow some shit up in Chicago. Simon, you look like a fucking crazy person. All right, let's see. So who's the other one? Oh, and Dave Mosbaz is the, is the other, is the fourth guy, sweet. So we've got uh, Mosbaz, Tano, Married Sphere, and I freaking good. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm, fu I'm fucking stoked for this, you guys. I hope you guys are ready for this shit. <laughs> Oh shit, we gotta move a we gotta move a ways here. Um so they, they went they did a bunch of really interesting things with the gameplay for this one to include basically a uh, stealth section uh, at the beginning of the game uh, where you are basically in stealth um, until you either attack the enemy or move somewhere where the enemy can see. Um Understood. Moving out. There you go. Um Simon, you, you might be pissed at me. I think your accent in this game might be, like, either Irish or... Uh, I know it's not Welsh, but it might be Irish. And if that's the case, I apologize profusely. I got it as close as possible. Um, I have a feeling... <laughs> Depending on how this shit goes, either everybody's gonna everybody's gonna get promoted this round, or two of us are gonna die. Because I was running some like I was running some test stuff on this, and uh, oh boy, uh, it either goes one way or it fucking goes the other way. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be legit. <clears throat> oh, you can hear him up here. So we're gonna get to a point here. Uh, very soon, actually, where we're going to actually be able to see uh, the sight cones for the enemies up here. Okay, that uh, is the sight cone for the enemies. Actually, this one is for the uh, the, the the tower there. Got it we're going to move everybody up close together here. Kind of run everybody in. Double time. Uh, Okay, my thing went off, which means somebody followed me, but the way I have it set up, I can't see it immediately, so I'm going to have to wait till it pops up on my uh, screen up here. But whoever gave me the follow, I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, <laughs> thanks a ton for the follow. Oh, it is Simon. Yay, Simon followed me. Thanks, bro. Next person that follows me is going to be follower number 50. So just so you guys are aware, you could be number 50. I'll show you my tits. I mean, not really, but you know. <laughs> All right. So what we want to do is we actually want to kind of move everybody up um, into a good, like, firing position before we actually go through 
uh, with hitting these guys. And that's one of the nice things about the way they have this set up with the with the, the stealth section, is you can actually set up legit ambushes in this game. Um, been a day... Yeah, you have been, man. Alright. So, we want to move Eat My Shit, I mean Tano, up here. He won't be in the... Uh, the sight of that thing yet. So we're gonna put Tano on Overwatch. All right, looks like we're gonna move Mazbaz up here. <laughs> you have seen my tits enough for a lifetime. <laughs> All right, Simon, you're actually gonna get the first crack at these motherfuckers. All right, stacks. Okay, we're gonna use you as a secondary ambush here. So here we go, Simon with the first hit. Oh no, I can't get both of them. Oh damn it, we might actually... We're gonna go into uh, Overwatch very quickly and we're gonna set up for the next one. <laughs> uh, Brian, you are not the only person in the chat uh, who has seen my... God, when I say it like that, it actually sounds really bad. You're not the only person in the chat who's seen my tits. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is Dave in a better position? Oh, Dave is in a much better position to hit at least two of them with a grenade. So Dave's actually going to initiate the hit. Um, let's see. I think I can move. Uh, Simon, you're going to be on Overwatch and... Hassan is going to be on Overwatch from over here. Actually, I'm not going to put you on Overwatch. I'm going to sit you there, and you're going to hit the motherfucker that doesn't get killed by these grenades. All right, here we go. Dave with the opening volley. A grenade throw to cheap him out. Yeah. All right, we got two of them. The third one's going to be angry, but the moment he moves, the guys in Overwatch are going to take shots at him. Dave's got our first promotion, too. Very nice. So he's going to go for, or he's going to run for it. Looks like we've got Tano taking the shot. Oh, Tano just straight up killed him. We're good. Fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah, Brick Squad. And Tano's got a promotion. So now we've got to work on getting Stax, and we've got to work on getting Simon uh, promotions here. Uh, there are three more people on the level here. All right, and we've already... Oh, shit, they saw me? How did they... Ooh, this could be... Uh, this could turn out poor, actually. Where are you at? Okay, we're going to move Tano down into cover here. That uh, actually kind of makes me grumpy, to be perfectly honest. Because now we're going to have to move up. Uh, let's see, can you hit anybody? You've got a 27% uh, chance of hitting him. We'll see. We'll see what we can get the other guys to do first. Because I definitely, I want to go through, okay, that's flanked there. That is not flanked, and that is full cover. So let's see. Simon, can you get a hit on this guy? We're going to try you. Come on, 27%. Can you do it? You killed his ass. Look at that, Simon. <laughs> so since everybody's getting their first promotion here, what's going to happen as soon as we get out of this mission is everybody who survives is actually going to get um, get their specialization. So we're going to get to see who gets to be a sniper, or who gets to get blah, blah, blah. Alright. Stax, you're actually kind of in a poor position here, but what we're going to do... Um, you're actually... You're going to make it out alright, because... Uh, you're going to kill this guy. And uh, hopefully you don't take the hit from the... Uh, from the captain there. Um, and our focus on this next turn will be to fuck up the caption. There's your promotion, Stax. Hashtag Brick Squad. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Oh! Ooh, you hit me. Well, you hit Stax, I should say. Wait, did they hit Stax? No, they hit uh, Dave. Dave got fucked up. Alright. We're gonna move Tano up here. Put you on Overwatch because you can't do anything yet. Uh, we're gonna move Mazbaz up here. You're gonna take a pot shot at this guy. Hopefully you hit him. Nope. Maz didn't get him. So it looks like it's going to be on Simon and Stax here. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to be a flanking shot there. Can we get you with a grenade? 
Yeah, we can. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Stacks, your work ain't done yet, bruh. Because you're gonna run right the fuck up here and shoot this motherfucker in the mouth. Because now you got the flank on him. 82%. Come on, this has got to hit. Come on. Yeah. Fucking blew his face off. <laughs> Stacks for the fucking win, yo. <laughs> yeah. So fucking Mazbaz, unfortunately, is going to be stuck without a damn... Uh, word I can't think of. Maz is going to be stuck in the infirmary for a while after taking that shot to the fucking face, but uh, everybody made it out. Everybody got promoted. And then we're going to have access to our other peoples here. Mm. Ah. How's everybody doing tonight, by the way? I ain't talked to, like, half y'all in a minute. Soldiers wounded, soldiers killed. We did excellent. Killed six of them. Took nine turns. It's pretty good. <laughs> Dealt the most damage. Stack them up. Made the most attacks. Wildlands. Most under fire. Wildlands. Move the furthest. Stack them up. <laughs> so I think what I'll do for funsies <laughs> is just uh, whoever's actually in the chat at the time, mm, excuse me, is going to end up getting to go on missions and stuff. Alright, let's see. So here's everybody getting promoted. Let's take a look at this shit right here. Here we are coming in. A lot of these animations are canned and you'll see them over and over and over and I'll end up skipping them later, but for now we're going to take a look at them. Alright. Stax is thirsty for them promotions. Let's hit them up. Promote. Oh, you're a specialist, bro. You got robots and shit. You get to be the medic, bro. We're going to see what's, what you get to be, Simon. All right, so you got aid protocol, which is... Um, you're actually the most useful uh, class in the 80% of the game, Stax. All right, let's see... Let's look at Simon from Kenya. Sniper! You got it, bro! <laughs> Dude, that's going to make you useful as shit for taking people out. Look at that! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> got that squad sight. Alright, let's see what Tano's got. Oh, Tano's got a knife! Which is funny! <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of badass. Shotgun and a knife set up on, on friggin' Tano. That's legit. Alright, and last but not least, Mr. Couldn't Show Up to the Damn Stream Tonight. Maz is a heavy with a rocket launcher and a chain gun. <laughs> Thank you for saying it, X Tobro. I appreciate it. Let's see, commented on the photo, Simon the Scott, sweet. Did y'all like my dumbass little gif, my little follow gif? I thought that was pretty funny. Alright, now we are going to continue on. Alright, we got some corpses. I don't really care about that right now. Alright, now we gotta go through the tutorial for all of this shit, where we get to meet the, Impressive, like, it? characters and everybody who's helping us out on our ship. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the ah, delicious. For the rest of the aliens technology. Hope y'all are having fun. Dr. I love Richard doing Tiger, shit like this. Chief science officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here. Brian, if you want in on this, I can at least add you to the pool for the next stream. I can't do it now, but let me know. Such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something. While removing you from the aliens. All right, well, this is going on. I'm going to double device. check my chat, Implanted double check the stream health and everything load. like that. So to the bear with me. I'll be half paying attention to this, half paying attention to other stuff. So, know the you know. Precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, let's see, course, let's see, let's see. I assure you, Looks like we're doing all right. Okay. 
Which brings to light an additional point. So has anybody in the chat actually uh, played this game before? Because uh, I'm interested to know how y'all's playthroughs went if you played it before. Uh, if you haven't, hopefully you're at least interested in watching it. And not just hanging out for the camaraderie. Alright. So here, assign research. Uh... We want modular weapons to start. We're going to start with weapons. We're going to end up... Uh, uh, what's the word we're looking for? We're going to start with weapons. We're going to end up... Um, working on armor next. Um, and we're going to... We're going to... Or my... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? My, uh, my thing is usually to research the ever-living shit out of the... Theoretical uh, experiments. Uh, the upgrades first before doing the story stuff. That way, once you actually get to the story stuff, you can work at a really good clip through the story stuff. Um, and the way this game works is you're building a worldwide resistance network, uh, whereas in the first one, you were just trying to maintain and stop the invasion across the globe. Um, so this one's... I feel like this one's actually a lot better for beginners. Um, because in the first one, you've got the whole world to protect right off the bat. On this one, you slowly grow your network as your knowledge grows, which is better for people who haven't played before because it's just like, oh, I'm in fucking Germany and I gotta deal with fucking Japan's getting invaded, they're raping all our women, what the fuck, what am I supposed to do? Uh, so this chick is the daughter of the researcher from the first game. Um, so what they didn't show, because we didn't do the tutorial, is uh, the very first mission that happened before what we even got to see was a mission where they went and got the commander, who is this legendary dude from the first game. Um, and he was jacked into, like, he was basically jacked into the Matrix, and they had to pull him out, and that's the, the character we play as, you know what I mean? Um... Yeah, but it, uh, it's actually central to the story once you get into the game later. All right, we don't want to worry about building weapons or armor. We want to build a med kit. Okay, instant build is good. Flashbang is good. Uh, and I'm not worried about smoke grenades yet. Uh, what we do want to do here is we want to deal with some facilities here. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, no, I get it. Okay, uh, we need to clear some debris. We have 105 supplies. Uh, first thing we're going to build is a guerrilla tactics school. Uh, we're going to build this first. Um, oh, we don't even have the supplies to excavate that yet. Uh, we build that first because that gives us the... Yeah, he was running uh, combat simulations for the aliens, X, you're right. Um, we build that first because that'll allow us to increase our squad size, so we'll be able to run with a squad of six, hopefully very soon. And the reason that's important is because all y'all motherfuckers get more face time in the game. Yay, yay. Um, Alright, we built all that stuff. Um, next, we're going to want to go probably to the armory. Count on alien kills. Might be a useful recruiting tool. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, um, not armory, not engineering. We want to go to personnel next. I don't remember where the fuck personnel is. This is my quarters. Here's personnel. Nope, I do want to go to the armory. My bad. I want to get through this stuff and get back into the missions as fast as possible so that you guys aren't stuck watching me fucking around. Alright, so if we look at the soldiers we have right now, we got stacks. We got Tano. We got Mazbaz, who's all fucked up, which is why he's down there. We got Simon, with them fucking mutton chops. I wish I could have given you a kilt, bro. We got Tony. We got my buddy Nick, who, uh, he's down in Antarctica right now, and he does not have the, uh... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He doesn't have the, the internet thing, the internet ability to actually watch streams, but since I'm archiving this, I'll show it to him later. Um, myself, <laughs> it's the most dad, like, generic-ass dad character you've ever seen. It's fucking terrible. 
Um, and then we've got fucking smug fucking Wendy. Yeah, look at her. Yeah, Wend uh, yeah smug Wendy's legit. Okay, enough of me sucking my own dick. Um, all right, really quick, let's save. Oh, it automatically saves. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to actually come to the bridge here, and this is where we actually pass the time and do scanning stuff and building stuff and everything like that. Um, it, it's also where missions happen. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Hopefully I'm not talking too hard over everything else and you guys are getting an idea of what's going on. I When I do these streams, I like to not just show the gameplay. I like to kind of, you know, let you guys see the story too. So if I need to shut the fuck up, tell me shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Looks like X was happy about Smug Wendy. Resistance HQ. Uh, this one doesn't let you choose where your HQ is. It just happens randomly, which is interesting. Uh, last time I played this game, uh, my fucking... Uh, words I'm looking for. Um... One of the times that I did this, um, my or the first time I played through, my uh, headquarters ended up being in fucking Siberia, of all places. Alright, let's investigate this shit. So you can do missions to get supplies, you can do missions to get rookies, you can pass the time, you have to scan the areas to find missions. There's a bunch of really cool stuff that you can do um, in this game that you weren't able to do in the previous one. Okay, we've got the modular weapon stuff built. We've got the troops digging through scrap piles and looting corpses, safe to assume, blah, blah, blah. We should be able to attach larger upgrades. Uh, that was an interesting thing they did in this game. You could put mods on your weapons. Uh, so you could put scopes on everything and it would make it um, easier to do everything. We're not going to worry about uh, the magnetic weapons yet. We're going to work on hybrid materials and then biotech. I foresee a number. Valuable applications stemming from this technology. Man, I'm ki I'm actually kind of worried I'm gonna get all my fucking friends killed here in Iron Man. Like, now that I'm committed to it on stream, if I fucking kill you, I apologize, yo. Alright, we did this, and we got a bunch of recruits we're never gonna use. Eastern United States. Um, because none of them are our people. Um, when it comes to actually getting more people, what I'll do is I'll have the character pool. Uh, after our recent success, members of the resistance in the eastern U.S. have brought us reports of activity that may w we may want Avenger to investigate. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like another supplies thing here. And hopefully it's supplies. Supplies is your... Uh, good, it is. Uh, supplies is your resource that you use for building and buying upgrades and stuff in this game. Further our advances, um... I don't want to kill my friends. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this will give us... Yeah, this will give us access to a vest uh, that will increase our health. Uh, that, uh, we've got 20 supplies. We might actually be able to buy. Or build, I should say. Uh, nanoscale vest. No, it takes 30 supplies. Darn it. And it actually takes uh, Advent Trooper corpses. We're going to be drowning in corpses and everything by the end of this, which is good. Um, Commander, as the resistance continues to uh -oh. grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings. To a new target. Advent. As it is, we Eastern U.S. Operation Brutal Heat. I mean, that's technically Canada, but I mean, I guess Canada's part of the U.S. I mean, Mazbaz isn't here to, uh, you know, uh, 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 rebut that statement, so... Difficulty easy. Reward Dr. Carlota Blanco, engineer. Let's do it. Setting course for the Eastern U.S. Precinct. All right. And we'll be able to go back up there and continue that scan later for that stuff. Uh, but at this point, we'll be able to go right into the mission. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, instead of smug Wendy, who should I put in? Tony, do you want to go or should I put myself out there? Huh. Huh. Ha, 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 ha. You know what? I want my bros to get in on this. There you go. Tobro, you get to you get to fight the alien enemies. You get to do it. You the best, fam. Ah! Oh! <laughs> too little, too late. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but um, you speak American English, but Tano only speaks Spanish. <laughs> I thought that would be funny. Also, they don't have a Japanese voice in this fucking game, dude. So I had to, I had to give 
the the Vocaloids and all the Japanese ones different voices. So I either picked like American English voices that went with their stuff, or I went with like French, or I think I think I made what's its face. I think I made what's its face uh, Italian. Uh, Gumi, I think so. Gumi's a, a friggin' Italian. No Russian. I don't think there's Russian. Uh, like no, there is Russian in this. That's right. <laughs> Oh man, I'm having a blast. Thanks for coming out, you guys. I really actually appreciate y'all coming out and hanging out for the stream. I know normally my streams are at like god awful early hours, but. Alright. We have to go grab that laptop and we have to do it. Okay. So if you notice, when I go to certain areas, uh, what'll happen is it'll show me like a thing that'll show me that if I go there, an enemy's gonna see me. So the first thing I'm gonna do... Ordenes confirmadas en marcha. You hear Tano? <laughs> so I'm gonna put Tano's ass right here. He can't see anybody yet, which leads me to believe that there's somebody in this building. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit right here. Uh, he should have been able to take a look, but I guess not. All right, so we have eight turns to get over to that thing and access that network. Um, which... Uh, really isn't a lot of time. Let's see, if I go in there, something's gonna see me, which means there's something actually in that building. Uh, but I can't tell, like, actually where it is. Ooh, you know what? I'm an idiot. We do not want to take Tano, or we do not want to take uh, you down here, Simon. We want you to sit on top of this fucking building forever. Because uh, you have a, an ability called Squad Sight, which is incredibly powerful. And what it basically means is that if, if one of your allies can see an enemy, you can shoot the enemy. Which means you can literally never move from the beginning of the level, and you can be sniping motherfuckers. Uh, which is an incredibly powerful ability. Um, Good copy. Move on target. Aid protocol. Damn, I forgot to equip uh, med packs on stacks there. Damn. Alright, so let's see. Can we go in via door to this place? I think we can, but we're not going to worry about that right now. I think I'm going to have Tano open the door to the building there. Um, if you actually go to the building and then click to open the door, you just open it. Um, and it looks like we're okay. Uh, oh, the only downside to that skill, uh, uh, bro. Uh, uh, shit, why can't I speak right now? Uh, the only downside to that skill, unfortunately, is that, um... You can't have moved that turn and still use the skill. Um, it's not the biggest downside ever, but it basically means that you have to use your pistol um, uh, every, any turn you move. And the pistols are actually pretty powerful in this game, um, but they could be better. Uh... Ooh, these fucking sectoids. Okay. Uh, you're, Simon, you're probably gonna get the first crack at that damn thing. Alright. We're gonna keep up with the Overwatch here. Alright, you from there. We're gonna put you on pistol Overwatch for now. Eyes on the prize. Um, so you can build snipers in two ways. You can build them to be extremely heavy on the sniper rifle, or you can build them to use their pistol. Um, and there are some incredibly powerful end-game pistol abilities that you can get. Um, excuse me. There are some incredibly powerful end-game pistol abilities that you can get, but I, I really like building at least the first sniper uh, up to be pretty much exclusively... Uh, built around using the actual sniper rifle. Explorando. So you're gonna go on Overwatch. Position confirmed. Let's see. Tony, you're gonna sit there. You're probably gonna take the first crack at these guys. Let's see. Can you get a grenade over there? No, you cannot. Okay. Um. So we're gonna leave you alone for now. Uh, you are gonna go on. Oops. Regular Overwatch. Let's see. 
I saw it up here. What does aid protocol do? Grant an ally 20 defense. All right, so what we're probably going to do is we're going to stack up here, and we are going to run our fucking asses over here to this cover in order to hit these guys. Since they're patrolling in that direction from the looks of it, um, unless they actually manage to uh, catch us this turn. Oh, they're going back the other way. Uh, this could be a problem. Doesn't look like it. Okay. All right. Oh. We're going to run Tana right up here, and he's going to be out of cover, uh, but it is my intention to make sure that these fuckers do not survive this turn. So, Simon, you're going to be on Overwatch here. I'm on it. The sectoid is going to be the big problem here. Oop, not Overwatch. We want to use this. All right, so that's gonna take out that's gonna take out the one guy, and the other one's gonna run, prompting Simon to take a shot at him. Here we go. All right, and then we've got two other guys uh, with turns available to kill this thing if it becomes a problem. Get him! Get him! Fucking get him! Fucking kill him! Fucking shoot him in the face! Yeah, you shot him in the fucking face! Look at that. That's badass. All right, and with these guys stacked up here. Tony here is going to be able to run his ass up, and he's got a flanking shot on him. Uh, you're you're going to fucking kill that guy. By the way, he looks gorgeous, by the way, don't you think? <laughs> he put his hand up in the air and went, hit! And you got your promotion. Good on you, sir. You did it. All right, we are going to run stacks over here at speed. Um... Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. Uh, we've got three turns to get in there and take care of it. Um, yeah, no, I get it. Shut your fucking mouth. All right, let's run Tano right up on the building here. We're going to run Tony in there. Um, and what we're going to do um, is uh, this next turn, he should be able to get it. Although I am going to alert somebody by walking through that thing now. Oh, fucking, are you kidding me? Oh, well, this is, uh, whew. This, this, uh, this isn't going to go poorly, but, um, whew. Simon, we better hope your, uh, your fucking sniper skills are up to snuff. You're, uh, smoking through the entire mission, by the way. All right, let's see. You going to get it? Hey! Fucking amazing! Look at that! Alright, so what Stax can do here is you're actually going to use a grenade to take out that guy and take out the wall. Um, it's not going to be... We're not going to need the wall, and clearing that out is going to give uh, Simon up there more ability to see around the map. Uh, normally, we don't want to do that. Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh, here we go. Oh, Everything's going bad. All right, he's going to get a shot off on one of us. Uh, let's see. Oh, he hit Tano. He shot Tano in the face. Uh, let's see. Okay, Tano's good. So you're going to run back here and actually shoot the shit out of that guy with your shotgun there, Tano. 63%. That's pretty good. And you missed. Great job. Great job, Tano. Tano, you suck. Yeah. You're out of ammo. I get it. Alright. Let's see. What can you see? You can see this guy here, and you've got a 53% chance, so hopefully you should get it. Wow. Wow. Simon cleaning the fuck up. All right, that's good. Uh, this is going to give us an opportunity to clear out. We're going to clear out his cover uh, with the grenade and hopefully one shot um, should be enough to get in there. We still have two turns to get that thing. Uh, so the important part 
uh, soon here. Let's see. Can you just straight up hit him from here? Three to five. I hope you hit him for five. Gonna hit him for four, but... Come on, get him, get him, get him. Ah, three. Okay. One or two more people might take a hit here. Um, most likely, Tony, you're gonna get... Oh, you're gonna get mind controlled. Okay. Um, that's fine. Because uh, that's not gonna end up actually hurting us at all. The Advent Network Terminal is shutting down. This is your last chance to secure the data. Okay, so... Tano has to save you here, bro. Oh, shit, I fucked up. Tano's dead. Oh, Tano didn't die! Oh, shit! Okay. Tano, your only purpose in this life? Oh. Actually, kill this guy. And then we can run stacks in there to kill the sectoid. Tony, you're gonna have to be able to get to that fucking thing. Let's see, Simon, you have to reload and you can't hit anybody anyways right now. Alright. Uh, stacks, you're the most, the more important player right now. Uh, we might actually fail this mission uh, because I didn't get in there fast enough. No, we want to shoot him. Come on, Stacks, get him, get him! Yeah! 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 Woo! Alright. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Alright, so hopefully. All set. Oh. Solid copy. Transponder readings from the advent. Damn it! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Well, that sucks. We were off by one turn. So everybody made it out. I think Tano got hurt. But everybody made it out, but we failed because we didn't actually access that thing. So that... That sucks, but what are we going to do? Uh, <laughs> my priority was getting everyone out alive. <laughs> so, technically, mission complete. In reality, y'all fucked up. Not me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it is entirely on me. I am... I am... I am the commander. I will commit Sudoku later. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna skip this here. Alright, at least... All y'all got promoted. Apparently Simon didn't get promoted even though you shot the fuck out of like 10 people and killed 10 of them. Alright. So, Phantom, when the squad is revealed, the soldier remains concealed, or Blade Master for Tano. All sword attacks deal two extra damage and have plus ten aim. Actually, might be interested in... Huh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Should I make... Tano invisible an extra turn, or should I, I make him the Knife Master? I don't know. We'll be able to go back here in a second. I know what I want to do with you, bro. Um, stacks. And that is not combat protocol. To jolt them, dealing guaranteed damage, which is increased against robotic enemies. That's great. But I want to turn you into a mobile medic. Um, and so basically, when I put a, uh, when I put a, a, a med kit on you, your robot can go over and just jizz medicine all over everybody. All right, Tony, you're a heavy. You've got a heavy machine gun, chain gun, and a grenade launcher. Look at you, looking all badass with your shit. He's invisible till he reveals himself. Got it. There we go. Tano lurking in the chat. Lurking in the closet of that, uh... Lurking in the closet of every waifu. All right, we got corpses and stuff. It sucks that we failed, unfortunately, but you know. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. So these are the guys that funded you in the first game, and now they just kind of yell at you if you fuck up. I mean, I don't know what their fucking purpose is at this point. To be honest. Good to see you again. 
In the day since your capture, I just poured I all tons of water all over my fucking shirt with a nice big sexy eagle lemon ink, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you represent Marin Corps. Leading to your recent extraction. Hoo <laughs> yeah. Now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. I should have joined the Air Force, though. Their PT is harder than the Marines. Masters. I saw a video where one of their 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 drill sergeants said so. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians. Do they even call them drill instructors or drill sergeants in the fucking Air Force? Don't they call them like their Oni Chans? Don't they call them business supervisors? Remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. So I guess these guys have been aiding the resistance. And now that I'm back there, like, nope, you do it now. We're going to yell at you if you fuck up. Ah, excuse me. Save our world. The clock is ticking. I'm working on it. It's fine. I think they call them daddy. Aye, aye, daddy. Daddy, I need to go to the bathroom. Contact the resistance Hello, in the Black Series. Our latest operational objectives, Commander. Uh, your recent defeat in Eastern U.S. has not gone unnoticed by the resistance or those who may see this as a sign of things to come. We failed our first technical mission. Damn it. Low supplies. Okay, that's fine. Not worried about anything else, but Commander, we'll be able to get those supplies we have a up there. Lead on the alien black site. But we'll Ooh. have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. So we need to contact the resistance there uh, to get access to that black site. It's the only way we're going to find Yay, it'll be fun to have Tano in here. He's not going to spend the first six hours talking about daddy cummies, is he? Strategic resource located. All right, we've got some more resources here. All right, what I'm going to do with those resources, okay, I'm actually going to buy some shit. Um, and equip some shit. Alright. So we've got a flashbang and a med kit. I want to get a nanoscale vest. Probably on Tano, but I'm probably going to switch him out for me here in a second. I think Dad would have been proud of what we're doing here. Uh, wait a minute. Where do we go to time, equip? We're actually a threat to the aliens. Command? They know it. Research. Now we just Engineering. Have to in the colony Armory. That's where we want to go. My father didn't die so we could become All right, so now we're here. We got Hassan. Customize. No, nope, we don't want to customize. We want to go to your loadout here. And we want to equip you with a med kit. We don't have any other armor to deal with now. Commander. Right. Actually, let's look at your assault rifle. I don't think I can equip anything else on you right now. Uh, let's see. I don't know, he's fucked up right now, so we're not actually going to put anything in him. On him, I should say. Oh, Tano's fucked up, so we're going to have to switch to me anyways. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, Simon, I don't need to equip anything on you right now. Um, but since I'm coming in... Weapon upgrade? I don't have any upgrades. Okay. Um... I'm going to switch out your frag grenade, or my frag grenade for a flashbang. Because when you flash guys, they become incredibly easy to hit with uh, with weapons. <laughs> so for, for an ambush, you hit them with, uh, if especially, excuse me, um, if they're not spread apart and they're close together, you have one guy with a grenade uh, hit the group and kill the weak ones. Uh, then whoever's left, you get hit with a flashbang, and then for, like, a mission or two, they're just totally, completely fucked up, and they can't do anything. Alright, so what we want to do, we can't actually go down here, because the mission's locked. So we actually have to go to HQ, and we have to, uh, do some scanning, and basically waste some time until a mission pops up. We will get intel if we sit here long enough, and that intel will give us access to more missions and stuff like that. The Resistance Council has a new high-priority mission information. Operation Doomwalk. Extract VIP from Advent City. Guys, this is our first waifu. Guys, they took our waifus. We're going to take them back. We're also going to take their waifus, but more importantly, we need our waifus. All right, so we've got Dad... Stax, Tobro, and Simon. 
who's from Kenya. <laughs> Y'all ready to get this fucking waifu? <sighs> Oh, I'm so ready for wipers! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. In position for deployment. I hope to put some real trash waifus in this pool so that you guys see the waifu in there. You're like, no, just kill her. <laughs> All right, begin mission. All right, it's appropriate that Tano isn't around to help with the waifus because you know he'd probably just. Touch them. Just touch, just touch, just touch. Not like, not like, eh, but just like touch. <laughs> I made somebody Google waifus. <laughs> oh, I love that shit. I don't know why the, well, I know why the loading screen here, but look at how the, the, the frames are super low on the loading screen here. It kind of sucks. Uh... <laughs> Just like old times, eh, Tony? Out there on the battlefield shooting at fat people with too much money and children. I mean, aliens. You know, the battlefield where we where we fought those people. Yeah. All right. Menace one five, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for okay, there's the there's the evac. Where's the VIP? Oh, the, the VIP is right there. Who's the VIP? Lucas Werner isn't one of my VIPs. Who the fuck is... That's not a waifu. Which one of y'all approved this? I swear to God. You know, I'm actually really happy I have you in the squad. Uh, Tony. Uh, because you have a grenade launcher with extra grenades, which means you're great for initiating ambushes. All right, so what we actually want to do with Simon is we're gonna you, we're gonna sprint your ass until we get you in a position where you can just sit. Um, that's the best thing we can do with you. No, I'm not gonna kill him. If we fail too many missions, we fail the game completely. So even though it's not. Even though we're we're not uh, rolling deep on waifus right now, okay, here we go. All right. How did they fucking? No, you didn't spot us. Shit, are they gonna get a turn in here? Probably. Oh no. Okay. All right. So first things first. It's time for you to come up here and earn your pay with your fucking grenade launcher here. Which, by the way, has a huge um, attack radius. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use you to damage this bitch And take out that wall so that we can start running through that building. Hopefully this doesn't attract more motherfuckers. Alright, and since he's out of uh, uh, cover, we'll be able to just shoot his ass with Simon. Where are you at, Simon? You ready to kill a man? You ready to kill a man, Simon? You gonna kill this man. You gonna touch him. You gonna touch his face. Fucking in his fucking face for eight damage. Holy shit. No uh, that box right there? Uh, that is loot. Uh, that is loot that we can use to, or that we can uh, uh, grab here. And we will be grabbing it along the way. Okay. I've got this one flanked, so I'm gonna take care of this summon of a bitch. Yeah, you just keep pointing at me. I'll point at you with Enemy with eliminated. my goddamn bullets, you know, because I'm dad. Let me make a dad joke. Dad joke. There we go. I did it. Y'all can suck my ass. <laughs> All right. It looks like since we don't really have to worry about anybody over there, we'll be able to uh, sprint you over here, uh, over into cover here, stacks. The only issue will be if uh, they come around the other corner of that building, uh, but I don't think we'll have an issue with that, to be perfectly honest. Because it looked like they're here, and they see us. I don't know who they saw, uh, but they're not going to get a turn. Um, and once again, Tony, you're going to come into play here. Um, Roger that. Shit! Damn it. Okay, that uh, was actually incredibly poor. That wasn't what was supposed to happen. Um, I wanted you up against the wall, so we need to take these guys out this turn, or they're going to be able to just hit you for free uh, because you are not in cover. 
Um, I think uh, myself and Hassan here will be able to uh, handle it, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here and actually pick this thing up. There we go. We got a hair trigger and an advent data pad, which gives us intel. Every time you kill, you make a dad joke. Oh, man, I'm, I like that. I like that gimmick. I'm going to have to look up some dad jokes, though. All right, 67%. Come on, hit him. Sweet. Okay. And then stacks, you'll be able to get you'll be able to get the the kill here. Um, unfortunately, uh, Simon is not in a position where uh, he'll actually be able to hit this guy this time. So I'm just going to run you up and expect problems for the next turn here. I thought I had stacks. Shit. All right, we're going to run you here and hide your ass around this corner. Hopefully, you don't reveal anybody else. Nope. All right, this is what I wanted to do. Stacks, get your ass in there. Kill him. All right. All right. Um, we're going to use you for a cool thing here in a second, too, Stacks, because you actually have the ability to hack stuff. Uh, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, hack that uh, that uh, that guard tower there. Good kill, Stacks. You done do it. You killed that man. That man is dead now. You done killed him. Yay, yay. You know, I don't think I got a promotion. Um, let's see, where's the thing? It's over there? Okay. I don't think I actually got a promotion for that, uh, that kill there. Alright. What we're gonna do... Hmm. I'm not worried about running you up yet. I'm gonna put you over here. Alright. I wanna switch to you now. Wait, where are you at? There are you at. Alright, I want you to hack that. Alright. <clears throat> So there's this uh, completely random chance uh, hack minigame, and if you do a hack, if you do the good one, you can actually just steal shit. Um, if you do the bad one, or if you do the super hard one, um, you end up uh, with an incredibly powerful thing for the, for the game itself, or for the mission itself. Gain control of a random enemy for two turns. So if there's another enemy on the field, we're going to fucking kill it. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, you fucking hacked a dude, bro. <laughs> That's incredibly powerful. So now it's going to reveal the other enemies somewhere in the fucking level. Oh, who did I mind control? <laughs> did I mind control the sectoid? Because if I did, holy shit. Uh, don't worry about it, X. We've got nine turns to basically move three turns. Um, and with the fact that we actually have uh, the other guy mind-controlled, we will be perfectly good. All right, where are you at? I want to actually move you up here. Um, should be able to do this without getting uh, spotted. Um, and you'll be able to uh, hit that enemy up there next turn. Because uh, we're still in concealment right now, luckily. So I'm going to move you up there, and he's going to hunker down. Uh, what sucks is that they're on top of a building, so in terms of actually setting up an ambush, we're going to have problems. But since we have one of them mind-controlled, um, we're actually going to get to control the sectoid and use him to kill the other guy, and then just run him into our group. <laughs> oh, look! He's like, oh no, the sectoid! So we have him for the next turn. So, so let's actually use him to kill this guy. Um, I could actually mind control this guy too. Um, yeah! Look at what you did, Stax. Alright, and so what we're going to do is actually, now that we know we have uh, enemies incoming this next turn here, we're going to rush up to this building... Um, and then deal with it next turn, and we have the sectoid for another turn. Um, so we're going to be able to run him into our fire to die. Understood. Moving out. You're going to sit here for now, um, and you're going to be able to fucking hit next turn anybody who happens to be um, in the area here, uh, which is real good. All right, we're going to move you right up here with Tobro. Yeah, this one's this one's going much better than the other one. I played the other one uh, too conservatively, just because I was, uh, I'm honestly kind of worried about getting people killed, um, and I feel like if that happens in the very first stream, it's going to be ultra shitty. Um, all 
Alright, you're mind controlled. And let's see, did the did the reinforcements come in yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna run dad up here. We're gonna run the VIP up there, so even if everybody dies, we'll have beaten the thing. Um Where's the VIP? Where's the VIP? Get your AS. Um as long as we extract him, even if everybody dies, uh, we win. VIP Evac that ass. This is VIP is I wish I could just, like, extract the sectoid while he's mind-controlled, you know? Right, we're gonna run his ass out here. Um, and he's gonna get fucked up by... Several of us here. Moving to position. All right. So you're gonna actually get to use your machine gun for the first time, right here. And hopefully this doesn't break mind control. It won't matter because he's gonna die. But uh, yeah. Whew. All right, Dad. Get him, Dad. And Simon for the kill with a 95% chance to hit. Good lord. Potato Melonius. Yo, what's up? Um, all the waifus are VIPs, so we get to extract waifus in this. How you doing tonight? Thanks for coming to the... Oh, shit. We got another follower. Cool. I can't wait for it to pop up on the stream thing that I'm checking out since I can't actually see it right now. All right, so let's see. Hassan has evac'd. Good. Hope you are having a good evening. Alright. Tobro is out of here. Um, the big... Oh, I missed it. If Potato Melonius... Oh, yeah, it is you. It popped up in my, uh, my, uh, uh, my email thing. So, cool. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I feel like XCOM's a great game to play, but I feel like it's it's one of those games that you can kind of laugh along on a stream with, too. Um, so I was hoping just throwing a bunch of my friends in here and, and doing, like, extracting waifus stuff. Um, I thought that would be... I thought that would be a dumb, fun thing to do. Okay, I think... Uh, was this from Kenya? Let's go. Simon, your ass was the last one to get out. Good job, you stayed back. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. You want me to make you a soldier? Okay, um you, you know what? Why not? I'll do it. I'll have it set up for the next stream. I'm not actually going to be going into the classes and stuff like that and the customization right now, but um, I'll be able to do it in the character pool in between streams. And uh, yeah, I'm cool with throwing a bunch of followers in the game. Because you get to a point later in the game where you're running missions with, like... There's one or two missions where you actually get to run with, like, ten people. Did we do Flawless? I hope we did. Tony, you had a 100% successful shot percentage. I had the most damage per attack. Nobody... Oh, nobody was... Wow. Uh, Tony, you dealt the most damage... I made the most attacks, and Stax, you moved the furthest. Badass, we did it. Nobody got shot. Everything is good. That's legit. Hashtag Brick Squad. I don't know. Shut up. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. Let's keep it up. Man. All right, let's see. What do I get to be? What do I get to be? I am a ranger. Ah, oh, actually, ranger's a pretty damn good class, so I'm cool with that. All right, cool. So it's me and Tano getting switched out for the Ranger class. And let's see. All right. So we've got Long Watch and Return Fire for you, Simon. Uh, your ass is getting Long Watch because it allows Overwatch to trigger on squad site, which means you can be sitting at the beginning of the level on Overwatch and shoot every fucking person in the damn level whenever they move which is really important because it basically means that if they run in um, and see us the moment they run for cover we're good 
Okay, so Lucas Werner wasn't exactly our typical waifu. I don't know where the fuck that asshole came from. Um, but uh, hopefully the next waifu we get is a better waifu. All right, so we, we picked up a hair trigger. Uh, now let's highlight that again. When firing, the soldier has a 5% chance that the shot will not cost an action for the active turn, which is really important, especially for rangers, so it's going on me or Tano, and a data pad, um, which we can crack for intel. All right, so data decryption you is going to be our next big thing here. Dealt another serious blow to the alien's efforts. Oh, he's so happy with us. Impressive work. So do y'all think that's just straight up Agent 47? Uh, Rangers are the people with the uh, melee weapons, uh, Potato. Yes, Thank that is correct. All right, cool. Um, when you get more people, when you get the VIPs, they become either engineers or, um, or scientists. Um, that will help you in the actual uh, the game and when you have more engineers and more scientists uh, like research times and stuff goes down this ship isn't all that different from the old base thank you right all right we've got enough supplies to start clearing some alien debris no engineers available crap assign engineers oh I just straight up don't have any engineers right now because of the guerrilla tactics school but that's fine that's gonna be the more the more important thing for us for now all right, so let's see. Fire access. Commander, after our recent success, members of the resistance in the eastern United States have brought us reports of activity that me, we may want to investigate. Time to investigate. Five days. Reward Avenger scientist. New That's important. Because we can't go down there yet. We have to be able to make contact with those people. Uh, uh, but that'll be good. Because once we establish a thing... Okay, here we go. This is important. Once we establish a thing down there, we'll be able to take care of that thing and then do the thing. Thanks for coming and hanging out, Brian. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you coming and hanging out. I also appreciate the hosting. Hopefully your buddies end up uh, coming to hang out. Oh, we can't afford it. All right. Um, Vulture's pretty good, but I want squad size one. Um, let's see. We need to be ranked sergeant, and we need 50 supplies for that. Okay. Um... So we can't get those yet. Okay, darn, darn to darn. All right, so the cool thing we can do with this, uh, this uh, school here, is we can actually train people up to be specific um, classes. Uh, yes, Potato, you're right. More staff, faster production. Um, so we can actually choose from the people we still have here um, what we want them to be. So, like, Nick Nebraska here, we can train him up to be something specific. Um, let's make him a sharpshooter. Whoops. Um, I think next we'll train up Smug Wendy. Uh, since nobody got hurt, we're going to be fine uh, for the next mission coming up here. <clears throat> um, so we're not going to be short of somebody who's outside of our pool. All right, we got a scientist. Woohoo! All right, let's see. I actually want to see what are we researching right now. Working Magnetic well. weapons. We've got seven days to Command, basically get the next level of weapon. The purpose of the chip we extracted from you. We'll need to conduct the appropriate research as soon as possible. Cool, but I'm not concerned about that right now. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything else to do right now? We really don't. Setting course for sector so let's go to the Resistance Eastern HQ United for now States. and just uh, keep spinning up the stuff here. Go. Eventually, we're going to have to be able to make contact here. All right. Nothing on the local comms. Here we go. Uh, this is what we want. This is a this is a terror mission that's coming up here, uh, which is where they just start shooting at civilians, and then it's our job to uh, save as many people as possible. Bullets, lasers, plasma, and weapon upgrades. Yes, that is correct. Um. You can get some uh, some characters that use actual psionic, like psychic damage stuff, later as well. Um, but I'd never I'd never fucked with that uh, in my first playthrough. I kind of wish I'd had, but what are you gonna do? All right, <laughs> look at him rolling his eyes. 
That guy was all straight laced and nice in the first game. In this game, he's just like, I'm old and tired. I lost my wife. All I got's my whiskey and the mission. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. I actually like that. Uh, fuck was I actually like that propaganda dude. He he's an asshole. He's a good asshole. It's the last time I can remember describing a dude as a good asshole. Oh whatever. Aww. It's so sad. No, everybody's dying. I'm so sad. There was a little child's toy. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Okay. Canned animation there. So this part, uh, uh, you get introduced to a new type of enemy here. Uh, these goo boys. Um... Normally it's the waifus I like turning to goo, <laughs> but uh, not now. All right, so we've got a retaliation site, Operation Smoking Summer. Let's do it. All right, so we're bringing Dad, Stax, Tobro, and uh, Corporal Sphere. That's funny. Doesn't see gigantic ship a mile away. Faceless, and they can become civilians. Yep, those guys actually... Those guys are uh, serious problems because they're melee guys that hit like fucking trucks, especially early in the game here. Let's tilt this down a bit. What's my framing? Framing looks to be okay. If there's any issues with the stream, guys, just let me know. I appreciate it. Simon, you look like such a fucking asshole with your mutton chops and your your dreadlocks. <laughs> oh yeah, I thanked you for following Potato, but uh, you're my 50th follower. Yay! We got 50 people. Yeah! It's time for nudes. I don't know. Alright, uh, these missions kind of suck uh, because you basically have to rush in. Advent forces on the ground! Uh, you basically have to rush in as quickly as possible to save as many as possible, because if too many people die, you're fucked. Uh, speaking of fucked, uh, Dad's gonna be fucked here. Um, uh, the only good thing about this, you actually run into a ton of enemies in uh, these missions as well. Um, where am I putting you? Unfortunately, Tony, you can't move as fast as everybody else because you're the heavy. Um, but luckily, I should be able to use uh, Mr. From Kenya here to hit him. Please, come on, hit him. Yo, bro, you're so good at your fucking sniper job, bro. Shit. That's actually badass. That goes a long way towards saving, you know, my ass. Um, we'll probably end up moving you into this Overwatch position here. Um, you have to move into those spheres to, uh, kind of, like, save the, uh, uh, save the civilians. Oh, wow, everybody's hitting everybody today. This is fucking sick. This is a great, this is a great, like, like, our RNG is good. Whoop, did I do that? Oh, no, somebody's getting shot up here. Oh, that, that Dolly Robertson was killed. Poor Dolly Robertson. <laughs> Simon with the quick scope. All right, well, who are you gonna shoot at? You gonna shoot at? Oh, you shooting at Stacks? Oh, Stacks, you got hit, bro. Oh no, bro, you got all hurt and shit. All right, we're gonna move Dad up here. We're gonna save this guy, who hopefully isn't immediately good. And then we're gonna hide your ass for now. All right. Um. Uh, first things first, let's see if From Kenya can take out another one. 33%, so this probably won't go too well. You fucking... What? Bro! You fucking shoot him in the fuck, he's dead! You killed everybody! You're a fucking murderer! <laughs> oh, that's so good! Dude! I am genuinely you have a you have a med kit so you'll be able to heal yourself um, if worse comes to worse here. 
Uh, let's see. Okay. That sectoid off in the distance is killing more people here. Dude, he got a critical on that person. I mean, not that it matters. He would have died in one shot, but shit. Alright, let's move Dad up here. Hopefully this isn't one of those dudes. Okay, now? Cool. Alright, next step. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put you on Overwatch. Tobro, you're gonna move up here to catch this person here. I'm gonna put you here. Hopefully we don't uh, reveal any enemies here. Okay, sweet. No faceless yet. Alright, next step. Uh, Simon, run your ass up here, and you'll be able to provide Overwatch pretty much until the end of time. Get you sit your ass. Right, it stacks up here. Get you on Overwatch. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Um, I think if you save, it's, you gotta save like seven or eight uh, civilians to get the best rating. Um, problem is the ones we're running into here are... Fuck do you want me to do, Central? Some bitch. Shut your damn mouth. Alright. Got three guys over here. One of those motherfuckers is going to be a faceless, I promise you. So let's roll the dice here. We got, we got more people. And I'm assuming that other guy's going to be faceless because stuff. I don't know. I think we'll be all right. Any way that one of your characters can act as a shield through a skill? Uh, yes. Uh, there, is, there are characters with shield skills that you can get later on. Um, specifically, the specialists get shielding skills. And uh, the specialists and the... Ah, uh, shit. Right. Squad side on him. Uh, the specialists and the words I can't think of because I'm just having trouble all the time now for some reason. Uh, specialists and the Psy guys can uh, do defense. Right, let's see. Does it reveal anybody? No, it does not. All right, those guys are getting shot up here, but we should be able to get this little cluster here. It looks like it's just the sectoids over here and then one faceless that we'll end up having to deal with here. Um, so let's see. Move Dad in here. And roll the dice on another civilian. Okay, cool. We got another one. We're going to put you on... Oops. Put you on Overwatch. Uh, I'm going to move you up, but I'm not going to have you save that person yet. Because I want people in place in case we actually run into an issue with them. Hopefully what will happen is that sectoid will uh, come around the corner. Um, Alright, Stax. Time to roll the dice. You got this, bro? This is a faceless. Okay, here's here's where problem happened. Alright, so luckily the first thing it's going to do is move. Look at the amount of health that thing has. That thing's going to take two or three shots. Luckily, first things first. You can hit it. For three damage. Okay. Why isn't... Oh, because it didn't move, so the overwatch didn't happen. Okay, it healed itself. Alright. Tobro, you have over or you're unfortunately didn't hit. Okay, this could be bad. Soldiers become soldier 76. I love it. Alright, so these guys are gonna be a problem, but my main concern right now is Stax and that big beefy some bitch over there. Um, who doesn't look like is actually gonna take a turn yet. But they are going to be... Oh, great. We've got more now. Oh, this is turning into trouble. Oh, man. Oh, no. No, they killed Stax! Oh, shit! Bro! I'm real sorry, bro. I don't know. I feel really bad. Okay. No more myth or nice, guys. The fact that he didn't move is the reason Stax went down. Oh my god. 
Stax, I'm going to put you back in the character pool. Yep, we're going to get a Stax 2.0. It's going to happen. All right, you've got 81% chance to hit the big motherfucker, Simon. You better hit this. You better hit this or we're going to have problems. The big problem is this leaves me with three people now. Um, and you're going to need to reload for the next uh, for your next turn. So what I can try to do is I can run my ass over here. Actually, I can take the pot shot and then run away. So that's what I was expecting to do. But the fact that he didn't move means that none of the two overwatches that would have killed him were able to do the job, basically. All right, so we've got two sectoids left to deal with. Um, shit. We will avenge you, Stizax. All right, are you going to be shooting at civilians here? Yeah, this one's going... Fuck. Oh. We will make you better. We will make you stronger. We will give you a less stupid helmet. Shut your fucking ass, Central. I got problems. All right, so what I can do... Since there's no civilians over there anymore, is remove this guy's fucking cover again and hurt him again. Hopefully, we only have the one faceless to deal with. Sniper rifle through a tree. Fuck yeah. We done do it. Alright, so that guy's one shot, and then there was, what, one more sect? Oh! He just. Did he take fire damage? What the fuck happened? Alright, you gotta reload. And then I can put you on pistol overwatch. Not that it matters. And Dad needs to get run the fuck up. Dad needs to go somewhere and do something. Moving out. Fucking little flies or whatever in my damn. Alright, here we go. Alright, I don't think I'm going to have an opportunity to actually get these motherfuckers. Right now. Uh, so I'm going to hit them with a damn flashbang if, if I can throw that far. Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. I probably could have gotten a hit on them. But getting a flashbang on these guys is going to make it so that it's harder for them to hit us, harder for them to hit civilians, and easier for us to hit them. So hopefully they don't move. Let's see, Simon, your priority is probably going to be the... Oh, no. Haha, <laughs> you missed, you piece of shit. Flashbangs for the win. Uh, there is one that can revive people if they get critically injured. If they get straight up killed. Oh, but the other one got him. God damn it. Um, but if they're straight up killed, you can't pick them back up. Uh, you have to, or they have to be critically injured. Okay, where are these motherfuckers? Okay. I'm going to be putting you out in the open here, which... Uh, actually, you can't even get to them, so that's no problem. All right, you've got a 19% chance to hit that sectoid. Let's see, is your luck going to keep going through? No. Nope. Damn. Okay. That's fine. Not even close. Not even close. All right, so let's see. How much damage does Slash do? Six to eight, which would... Two, four, six, eight. At its best would take that thing out, but I would rather fire my weapon. Move you up. Let's see, is there a place with full cover? Yes, there is. You might actually get a flank on that guy. No, not a flank. Oh, and I can't even... Okay. Six damage. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, that's all good. It's going to get better here. Let's see, disorientation removed. He's probably going to try and mind control me. Oh, no, he's going to shoot at uh, me. Oh, no, he is mind controlling. Okay. Oh, no, he panicked me. I'm crying like a baby. Like a baby. Are you still going to take a shot? Yeah, you are. Problem is, it's at less of a... Whatchamacallit. Damn. Okay. So it's on Simon to kill one and Tony, you to kill the other. Uh, looks like Simon's going to have no problem right here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, fucking kill him. Fucking get him. Yeah. Yeah, suck his cock. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't say that. Hey, look, you got a promotion, Toe Bro. <laughs> All right. Still panicked. 
You're on Overwatch. You can't do shit. All right, let's see. He is right there. So there isn't really much you can do right now. Except maybe run up. You might be able to get a shot on him, but looks like not. So we'll get Overwatch on him. He's going to have to... Oh, looks like Simon's going to get the kill. Get him. Get him. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Damn it. You missed. You son of a bitch. But that's okay because we should have... Oh. He wasn't able to get him with Overwatch there. And now he's mind controlling me or panicking me. Oh, no. He's resurrecting... Stax, you've been resurrected to fight against us. Oh, God. No. No, Stax. No. I'm so angry. All right. It's time for Dad to end this. Stax, he turns you into a zombie. I'm so fucking angry. I'm going to blow his fucking face off. Let's see, can I slash him? Yeah, I can. Let's get him. Stab him. I have a katana because I'm an edge lord. Did I pick up the thing? Yeah, I did. A Lyrum core and an advanced scope. I wonder who's going to be getting the scope. All right, and that kills Stax. Oh, they killed so many people. We d ugh. That one was tough. Rating good. Because somebody died, it was good. Civilians rescued 6 of 13. That's actually pretty poor. Um, once we get our characters up to snuff a bit better. I guess I'm glad I trained up another fucking... Oh, my God. I get... No, I didn't train up another specialist. I have to train up another specialist. Shit. <laughs> I am not the new Samurai Jack. Unless you're offering up to me that, that, that extra thick... You know, like that, that extra thick, like, what do you mean no one got hurt? We lost a man. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I let Stax die. I can't believe it happened. Oh shit. Stax, you will come back. You will come back as a big angry cyborg. He's the only one that took any damage either. Like, shit, man. All right, shredder or blast padding? Blast padding, your gear includes layers of extra padding and blast plates, granting a bonus point of armor, uh, which is health, and 66% less damage from explosives attack, or your cannon attacks shred armor. I don't know, you tell me, Tobro, would you rather shred armor or have extra armor? I can't believe I got you killed, bro. It's not my fault. Tony, tell me what to do. Do you want your extra thick maxi pads all over your body? Or do you want to be able to shred? Shredding armor sounds cool. Got it. There. You are now Shredder. <laughs> oh, man. Remember that time I got fucking stacks killed because I'm an asshole? Hello, oh, man. Commander. All right, we did all right. Monthly supply rewards increased across North America. Income increased by 15 supplies. That's that's okay. I mean, I wish we didn't have to fucking lose a guy to get it, but... All right, let's see. Do we have our wall of sadness? Memorial. We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers. So we've got a bar... It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay. And in the bar, we've got this wall of people. There you are. <laughs> Bro, you died. You did real good. Change epitaph. Soldier epitaph. For, the, for those of you who can't read, 
He fucking died and it was my fault. Oh my god, I'm so depressed. Holy shit, I need to go listen to My Chemical Romance. I'm sorry, bro. I fucked up. It's on me. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yes, I want to add him back to the character pool. Okay, so he'll be back in eventually. Okay, let's go back to the armory and actually start equipping some of our guys. Alright, uh, view soldiers. Alright, so we need to jam a special sight onto your sniper rifle. Look at that, that looks fucking cool. Yes. Alright, now I'm concerned about people dying. Let's see, did I equip on you... Okay, you get extra stuff, extra grenades, so I'm putting a nanoscale vest on you to give you uh, some extra health here. Because uh, if you die, I'm going to feel bad. Um, let's see, I need to train up Smug Wendy. Actually, hang on. Shit, yeah, I do need to train up Smug Wendy to be our specialist now. Damn it. Alright, uh, so me, I'm equipping that hair trigger. Because the shotguns do the most damage in the game by far. Nick Kappa. <laughs> Legit. Um, uh, the shotguns do the most damage in the game, so if you manage to uh, be able to get two shotgun shots off in the same round, um, it is incredibly powerful. Let's see, do we have any PCS? No, we do not. Alright, and it looks like Maz is still fucking down. Oh man. Oh, my bad, Stax. Abandoned colony with rookies. New I forget what we have to do. We have to research resistance communications. That's what we need to research in order to um, be able to connect with other ones. Now, Except transmission from the resistance. Leading the resistance is a daunting task. Okay. Commander. But your efforts so far have left me Oh, I got a shitty rating. Made the right approach. Hey you. We will have to do better. We got to do better. Fuck you. No. All right. Commander, we have intel suggesting the Hunt XCOM or alien infiltrator. Our ability to stop the um so these dark events we can um operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We have we to disrupt have one or the other. Um and that's important uh, because it stops the thing from happening. So if we stop the alien infiltrator, um, w w if we stop that, we won't have to deal with faceless on the majority of missions. If we stop the UFO, we won't be hunted by a UFO. <laughs> what are we, some sort of suicide squad? God damn it. The resistance has a hidden cache you of son of a bitch. Outside of reach. Yes, okay. We'll have to fly over and scan the area if <clears> we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. All right, so we're going to be scanning this, but first I need to do a few more uh, engineering things, actually. Hey, Commander. Uh, we need to work on some facilities here. <clears throat> I don't have a fucking engineer. Oh, uh, because I have an engineer in the guerrilla tactics school, don't I? Shit, no. How many engineers do I have? I have zero engineers. Fuck. Oh, that's actually really trouble. Wait, that's what I have in storage. View inventory, build facilities, build items. Okay. Not worried about building anything else you right now. Let's look at years the research. Up the central, right? yes. We've got five more days to finish magnetic weapons. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over to resistance communications for now. Uh, we'll be able to go back to our progress on that later. Um, but once we make more connections with resistance, we'll be able to get more money. It's all good, Stax. Um, uh, we changed your epitaph. Um, I completely put the blame on myself. Commander, we've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Alright, so now we can contact some people. We grab the supplies there. Actually, we're still work working on the resistance communication. Right, recruit new staff. Scanning bonus medical assistant, scanning bonus rapid construction. Resistance volunteers assist with facility and excavation projects. 
while the Avenger is scanning at this location, decreasing the required construction time. We'll overwrite the current Resistance HQ scanning bonus. May only be modified once per month. Alright, what we actually want is a fucking engineer. It's worth 170 supplies there. Alright, let's go over here for rookies. Who knows, maybe uh, stacks will be part of... Yeah. No, I just changed your, epi your epitaph, bro. So it says the thing about how you died, but I changed it to, oh my god, I fucked up. All right, we got resistance communications finally. Uh, this is important because now we can start making contact with other areas. Uh, resistance radio, establish ground-based relays to further spread our reach. Valuable applications stemming from this technology. All right. I'll have a report assembled. We're going to need some damn Hello, Commander. money here soon. Commander, so far, I got enough I supplies. Among the alien components left over in this area. Okay, okay, you guys. okay. once that's once that's gone, we'll be able to start equipping some way, stuff Commander. that will allow us to um, expand our resistance reach. Um, probably should have been doing that first, but yeah. Commander. Quickest way to pacify these aliens, distract them for a long time. Give them fidget spinners. Oh no, not the fidget spinners! We've collected sufficient intel to make contact. We'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. Yes, we are making contact. Uh, we're gonna make contact with these motherfuckers right here, don't you know? Alright, so this is how you this is how you expand your, your network here. Um, is you make contact, you get a special mission, um, and then you basically unlock that area that'll give you money. Once you, like, unlock an entire continent, you'll get a bonus associated with that. Alright, one, and... There's our contact. Sweet. Hey, look, we met the resistance. How sick is that? Alright, let's see. Tano's ass ever gonna come home and screw around there, Tobro? Hopefully. Let's look. Potato, sign, cool, cool, cool. All right, so we can investigate this Advent Black site. We've got New Brazil. Okay, so that gives us access to new areas. But now we've made contact with these people, so now we're good with them. And we can do this special mission here. I think I'm going to make contact here first because I'm low on funds and I want to be ready for that fucking thing. And I think it'll wait, to be perfectly honest. It's our dark events looking. We've got four weeks. Shit. Let's make contact with the Western U.S. for now. Just move, so I don't know if he has Wi-Fi yet. Oh man, that sucks. He moves into his own place. Finally, good for him. All right, we've acquired new targets for our guerrilla operations. View targets. Counters dark event alien infiltrator. Okay, I guess we're not scanning because we're gonna go do this thing and get those supplies and counter alien infiltrator. That's actually really important for us. Flying around, wasting a bunch of time. Uh, so while we're starting up this mission here, I'm going to do a little bit of clerical work. Okay, we've got Dad, Eat My Shit, number seven, and From Kenya. Uh, you get a med kit, number seven, or Eat My Shit, excuse me. Um, so we've got two shotguns, a heavy, and a sniper here. And we're going to go on to the mission here. Nice. Did he move into the same complex as you? Because that'd be kind of funny, actually. Hang on, don't answer that for a half a second here. I gotta bring this back up. Let's see. Yeah, okay, looks good. All right, begin mission. All right, so I think I know or am talking to everybody who's actually in the stream right now, in the chat. Uh, but if 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 I'm not and you're just hanging out and lurking, I want to say thanks for coming out. Um, I hope you're enjoying the stream. If you do, definitely give us a follow. Um, I'm Jeff, and these are my friends. I'm desperately trying not to get fucking killed. Um, I'm doing a poor job of it. <laughs> Press any key to launch. Oh look, it's a house with a thing I can explode. I wonder if we'll be able to actually attack that. Tano's face is burnt to shit in this. Alright, we gotta um, cover this thing, so we actually have to move pretty fast uh, to keep the enemies from fucking it up. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to run in. As long as they don't see us, we can actually still set up an... Ooh, uh-oh. We can actually still set up a... Uh, 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 an ambush here. Even on those things. Person begging people to eat his shit. Leftover Taco Bell products. And a person revealing their location to hackers. Okay, I like what you're doing here. I like what you're doing here. All right. You should be able, Simon, to just immediately just fucking just do it. Oh, but he's got armor. Okay. So now we actually have to use dad here uh, to take a shot. Uh-oh. 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 So I'm going to be all the way back here, firing at this thing with a shotgun. He totally could have hacked the turret. And unfortunately, I can't do anything right now, so it looks like Dad's going to get shot by a lot of people. Oh, fucking fuck me. Oh, no. I'm an idiot, you guys. Actually, this is kind of important, because if those guys, if those guys are attacking me... Oh, oh, and he missed! If those guys are attacking me, they're not attacking that relay. You do shred armor, so, uh... Where are you at, Tobro? Oh, yeah, you're, like, right there. So I'm gonna move you up there. Actually, I wish I'd fucking thought of that. I just want I thought, I thought... You missed! Bro, you missed! The fuck are you doing, bro? Alright, Dad needs to get the fuck into cover. I'm actually gonna use him to get a flashbang grenade on. Can I hit both of them? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Fucking toe, bro. You're like, I'll get him, Sarge. And then you totally fucked up. I guess it's on uh, Simon again. There we go. Okay. So we're done with that. Let's see. Can we get Tano into good cover here? Yeah, we can. Okay. Your ass is going to be constantly... Ah. Oh. What a shot. Look at those aviators are fine. Oh, there's going to be a stack situation, especially if they manage to uh, mind control us here, which I don't think they'll be able to do, but... Okay, these guys are coming for us now. Huh. Luckily, number seven's grenade should be able to take care of them. Let's see. Oh, he shot at Tano and missed. Good. This is actually going a lot less poorly than I expected it to. Uh-oh. Is Tano getting hit again? They keep missing, so I guess it could it could be worse, right? Could absolutely be worse. Uh-oh. We got more coming up. A random civilian got killed? Okay. I mean, I don't care, but... All right, so what can you do? What can Tobro do for us? Okay, you can't hit two of them. But you can blow up this guy and the car. <laughs> Close range grande. All right. Will the car blow up? The car should blow up this turn before he gets a chance to move since I used a grenade on it. So we are not going to use that fucking car as cover. I'm going to stack up here. Moving. Which... Oh, no. The enemies over on the other side can hit us. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this is... Uh, that was a mistake. Everything is a mistake. Come on, focus. Everything is a mistake. Everything is going poorly. 61-37. God, I can't hit anybody. I mean, I can hit the guy I was trying to take out with the car. No longer a threat. All right, can you get up on... 
The sectoid. No, you cannot. Okay. Move you into cover. Hopefully you'll be able to get something. I mean... Damn. Okay, this is going poorly. Okay, I'll tell your wife oh, you loved them. I'll tell all the guys in Yuri on Ice you loved them. It's not weird. Oh, shit. I mean, at least they're taking pot shots at us. Are you gonna hide behind a cactus? What are you doing? Oh, he wasted a turn raising that civvy from the dead. Oh, that's great. That's actually perfect, except now we're getting shot at over here. Oh, ow, owie, owie. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is poor. This is incredibly poor. Am I gonna die? I'm dead! Oh, no! I... I... Uh, oh, I don't know what to do! Oh, guys, I'm freaking out! Can you hit anybody? Okay, first things first. We need to get you into some serious cover here. Heading there now. All right, you've got the flank on him, so he's going down. I can't believe I am dead. Everyone's favorite dad is dead. No more dad jokes. It's over. Alright, you need to reload. And then from here... Fuck it. I might as well move him up. Why did that happen? No, I want to move you up into some kind of cover here. That'll be fine. I think it is better... That was for Wu Tang. God damn you. Alright, what I'm actually gonna do with Tana right now is put him into. I can't believe I died. Like we're fu we're out of we're out of non sharpshooters at this point. In terms of like a new pool. Are you mind controlling Tano? Oh, just disorienting. Okay, that's not terrible. We can we can deal with that basically. Alright, he's on Overwatch. So the hope now is that our sniper can hit somebody. We got 45% or 25%. Okay, I'm not willing to bet on those odds yet. So what I want to do is I actually want to move him up. This is gonna trigger the Overwatch? No, it's not. Okay. All right, you're gonna take a pot shot at this guy. Hopefully you destroy the cover. Oh, you actually just straight up hit him. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't think Peter Griffins okay, could save us here. Gri Peter Griffins? Fuck me. That's what I, that's the words that came out of my mouth. Okay, 45%, can you do it? Yeah, you fucking can, bro. Yeah, yeah, mock. Yeah, ing, yeah. All right, so that thing's dead now, from the sectoid dying. And you earned another promotion. Okay, I can get you into full cover here, and you can take a shot at the guy. Uh, except you're gonna take some overwatch. Oh, you got hit. Oh no. Oh, this is poor. I'm gonna need more friends to burn through. I didn't do that. Oh, cause he's panicked. Oh no, you're panicked. You're gonna run away next turn, actually. All right, are you gonna at least pick up the thing? Yeah, you are, okay. All right, are you gonna take another shot? Yeah, you're gonna run off and then take another shot. Rob's banks to buy randomness, multiple methods of transportation. Way to panic, Tony. Tony Tobro McTonington. Next step is to move, eat my shit up here. <laughs> Eat my shit. Eat it. Eat my shit. On the move. It's a joke from a thing. Nobody here is gonna... T you got you shot. Actually, I totally got you shot. And then you freaked out from getting shot. Somebody else just died. Okay, Tony Tobro picked up the stuff. You need to reload. And then your ass is going on Overwatch. 
because I can't I can't do anything else with you right now basically so all right we're gonna put from Kenya on overwatch and we're actually gonna run Tano right up here hopefully it triggers something and everybody runs out because we've got two enemies left I think one or two going to bed oh give me a second guys I love you. Have a good night. That was my wife. Everyone say hi, wife. Advent troops spotted. Oh, there's so many in there. Why are they all come froming from? What? Oh, this is poor. Actually, I'm going to move you into heavy cover. Position confirmed. Okay, 37, 37, 33. Come on, 37%. You're gonna miss, but I mean, you know. <laughs> Fucking what? What? Kill confirmed. Dude, Simon, what are you doing? Seriously, what are you smoking? Cause you're not dead. Andando. Did you guys see that shot? Like, I can't believe it. Alright, 50%. Get it. Fucking shoot him. Yeah! We're actually doing it. This is nuts. This is good. This shit is hype. <laughs> Alright, come on with the overwatch. Oh, you couldn't overwatch him. Fuck you. What are you gonna do? You're gonna raise the dead? Yeah, he's gonna raise the dead. This is... This is crazy. Oh, they're still fucking hitting this goddamn thing. I mean, that's fine. That means he's not hitting me. And that's uh, actually really important. Alright, so it looks like Tobro's gonna get to kill this sectoid here. Watch you miss. Nope. He's fucking dead. <laughs> and Tano did the little duck there. That's great, actually. Alright, the next hope is... 33%. Are you gonna hit it again? Watch this. I'm just gonna throw my hands in the fucking air. You're gonna miss. Damn! You missed. How dare you? Not even close. Yeah, not even close. All right, we're gonna risk Tano's life here. Oh, we can't risk Tano's life because he has to reload his fucking weapon. But you'll be able to take a shot here. And you missed. Good job, asshole. All right, so somebody's gonna get stunned here, but it won't matter because every, everybody's gonna everybody's gonna die here. Unless he just attacks the thing again. Wow, you're a complete fucking idiot. You see that? Better than my Fire Emblem Six game. <laughs> Shit. All right, let's see. You ready to rush in, Toe Bro? On the move. Time for you to kill a man. You gon' kill him. Are you gonna kill him? Oh yeah, you killed him. Or wait, does he have six health? I guess he has six health. Alright, you need to reload and I'm gonna put you on pistol overwatch here. And... Now it's on Tano to avenge me. Alright, 78%. That's the best chance of hit we've had yet. Fuck yeah! Mm, 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 we do it. <laughs> Actually, it hadn't, hadn't gone too bad. I mean, except for the fact that me and Stax died. I mean, seriously. The old school fucking Wonder Pets crew. The old school Wonder Pets crew are the ones that died. Me and Stax. Don't worry, we'll live on in y'all's memories. And as our version 2.0 which by the way I'm totally gonna throw you know the <laughs> I love the thrusting motion oh, shit hope y'all are enjoying yourselves because this has been a fucking blast so far <laughs> we're returning dadless It would be funny if instead of just being a blank space and a thing that said KIA, it was just like a body bag. I 
can't believe I'm KIA. And I can't believe Simon is the only person that got promoted there. All right, so we've got Dead Eye or Lightning Hands. Lightning Hands, fire your pistol at a target. This attack does not cost an action. This uh, skill is incredibly important for later on. Uh, so Simon, you're getting Lightning Hands. Oh man, I can't believe I died. Hello, Commander. Excellent work, and we've got some supplies here. All right, so first things first, let's go to the memorial. Let's take a look. Wu Dad Tang. <laughs> Adding the character pool, and let's change the epitaph here. Um, he was literally the fucking best and all his asshole friends let him die. It's not his fault. Blame Tony. <laughs> when you can't pick your skills. All right. All right, so first things first, we need to go to this guerrilla tactics school. We need to increase the squad size. And wet work, 25% experience gained from skills. Both, both of those are extremely important. Um, we need to throw Smug Wendy in here and turn her into a specialist. It's important that we have a specialist on the team and until we get stacks back, you did avenge me, Tony. I appreciate it. Look at that, you're training, kind of, you know. <laughs> Hang on. Look at the punching bags. It's the goofy little sectoids from the... Aw, oh, man, am I waking up the kiddo? I'm sorry, dude. I can be real, real quiet. Nobody will ever know I'm in your house. It's not creepy, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. Actually... What can I do for you, Commander? Uh, engineering. I wanted to go to armory. That's what I wanted to do. time repairing the ship's systems if we had any Recruit. idea how to translate their language. Unfortunately, we don't come across many linguists. Okay, so there's no recruit here. The character's in the character pool, which means at some point they will show up again. There's Sam Fox. Wait, the dude, sportsman took a big have, risk it? getting inside Advent. Hmm, maybe Enough not. for me to believe he's loyal to our cause. There may still be a few skeptics in the movement. Anyways, fucking Iron Man. I can't like go back and like redo everything. Our work no big deal. As ah, good, good, good. All right, what are we researching right now? Resistance radio. Cool, cool, cool. Advent generally deploys heavy security rather than subject. Right, so what we want to do? I want to keep making contact over there. All right, we've got more supplies we can investigate too, which will be important. But no, oh shit, I hit the wrong thing. I didn't want to investigate that. I wanted to make contact. Um, every month you get you you basically have a monthly income that you get. Um, there is no medical bay, bro. Let's make contact. Here we go. Oh great, more and more of this fucking shit. What is this? Special mission? This might be this might be another waifu rescue, you guys. I gotta get really serious about writing with all of my like covering on and off and putting everything right next to my face. I hope it's not fucking creepy. Oh it's not fucking creepy that we're about to get us some waifus, motherfucker. Are on the move. Actually, I don't know. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel. Actually, this is where you learn what the actual game is about, which is stopping this fucking uh, thing. However, they do have one thing in Basically, they're creating a doomsday weapon. That appears in um, all their files. Yeah. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Yeah, the Avatar project, if they finish, we win. So far, its true scope is far greater. I genuinely hope it's that we... Oh, somebody followed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little pimping in it. Who do we got? Who do we got? I gotta thank you. That's the only reason. I'm not like, we got one. I'm like, I want to thank the person. This is Brewski. Hey, Brewski. Thanks for the follow, man. I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Hopefully you'll uh, 
hang around for more. <laughs> cool. This is a good stream. This has been an absolute ton of fun. Uh, not paying attention to the Avatar thing. Hopefully y'all are, you know. If y'all want me to explain what the fuck's going on, I'll let you know later, you know. So basically, if they finish the thing, um, you you lose. Um, you can you can stop those black site project and you can stop dark events to uh, decrease their timer. But if you keep fucking up, the timer increases. Sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. Yep. Okay. We don't care about that. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Actually, it can become a serious problem. Resistance radio. Okay, so this will allow us to install radio relays in our resistance areas, which will increase the amount of money we get from them. Um, and I want to work on basically grinding out money in the beginning here. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. Ah, uh, because that becomes very important later on. Because basically, if you can get a good, stable income very early on, it pays off dividends long term. Uh, to the point where you're able to basically buy your way to winning. Alright, view the room. Alright, we don't have the supplies to build anything here. Um, but the next thing we're probably going to want to build is a power relay. Uh, which, we'll come, we'll come back to that later. Alright, let's see. Let's keep going... Yeah, thanks again for the follow, this is Brewski. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everybody who's following. I like having people to hang out with on the stream. Who will I have a competition? I'm going to be a sharpshooter, but without a frenemy? Feels bad, man. Aw. I mean, you can be a frenemy with Simon. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit. Passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. So basically, they had this thing jap jacked into the back of my head to make me the Matrix. Several fragments do remain. Oh, I gotta fucking fix this. Whoops. If you will. Hang on, guys. I mean, you guys aren't gonna notice anything that's happening, but I gotta fix a, a thing that's going on up here. Since this is a full screen game and I don't have a second monitor, I'm using my Xbox to actually watch the game chat, or to watch the stream chat, excuse me. Um, which kind of sucks, because I can't, I can't watch my Streamlabs stuff, I can't watch my actual, um, my, like, uh, stream health and everything from my Twitch dashboard, and just kind of in the dark with the chat, and, like, watching it to see what the fuck happens. Would be the only way to know for certain. All right, so we got to jack one of these things out of the back of an officer's head, and we need to build a special thing to do it. Uh, I think we'll focus on magnetic weapons, because doing more damage is going to be more useful for us soon. Oh, we can start the autopsies, actually. Um, plant warfare center may gain a bonus ability outside of their current class whenever they are promoted. In addition, an engineer can be staffed in the AWC to decrease the amount of time our soldiers need to recover from injuries. Okay, this is technically your med bay, uh, X. Alright, um... Let's see, that's gonna take three days, that's gonna take five... And this one's instant for some reason, Though so let's do the instant one. one um, doing autopsies gives us access to uh, good or, um, less intimidating upgraded items that we can build and equip invasion. on our characters. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces. So basically, since the aliens took over, they've been genetically manipulating their troops, which are all just like mind-controlled slaves anyways, uh, to, to do something. Okay, Mind Shield, a powerful psionic artifact rendering soldiers completely immune to any negative mental conditions, including panic, mind control, stuns, and disorientation. Let's see, who panicked in the last one? Oh, Tony! You panicked in the last one. Do I need to give you a mind shield, bro? Bro, no, I'm kidding. It's a, it's a pretty good item once you start dealing with mm, uh, the really badass psionic ones later on. Putting a knife into an object and examine its organs will take five days. 
No wonder we can lose this war. Okay, I like that. That's kind of funny. You're kind of funny, bro. <laughs> Got good jokes. Got good jokes, bro. In terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental So my wife and daughter are sleeping upstairs. I have a whole house fan that provides an incredible amount of white noise and covers up my fucking voice. And it's not running for some reason, and I don't understand why. Oh well. If they want to fall asleep to my dulcet tones. <laughs> Alright, I want to finish making contact, and then we can uh, continue on for supplies and rookies. Alright, cool. We got more money. More money, more problems. A thousand degree knife cutting through alien armor like butter. You get that for the rangers later on. Uh, their blades become like these superheated, like, chainsaw nightmare blades. It's actually really cool. Alright, so now we have access to, from here, we have access to uh, Asia, and we have access to uh, South America. We'll probably do South America next, uh, because if I remember correctly, there's only the two things in South America. And once you have an entire region, like so, um, you get a special bonus. Alright, so let's see. We have supplies up there and rookies down here. Avengers let's grab the rookies here, because who knows, we might be in here. Yeah, straight up Doom Chainsaws, dude. It's fucking awesome. Um, and they do a, a pretty good amount of damage. Alright, Smug fucking Wendy is now a specialist. Let's carry on. And let's carry on. And here we go. We're done with this thing. Easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, These parts are cool because they give you they give you like info on what the fuck's going on. The results, however, I actually really like the way the game the story progresses in, in this in these My games. Of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant. Similar in design to the unit I extracted from the commander. Cool. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this advent capsule. So I'm pretty sure it's in this game as well, but in the previous game, it's it's been a while since I played through this, so I'm not 100 percent sure. But in the previous game, you could actually capture enemies alive and do um, uh, interrogations on them, which is pretty fucking cool. Uh -huh. Advent data shows signs of decay. Ah, delicious. Hi, kitty. Has likely caused significant Aww. damage. My kitty wants to come hang out. Network. Would you guys like to see yes. my wet, throbbing kitty? Network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information. No, I'm a kidding. Great Barry. Deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream come here, shithead. Energy. Come here, kitty. Advent come here, kitty. This to augment the tactical readiness of its troops. Come here, kitty. Well Showing my pussy on stream for command. follows. <laughs> will you guys, will you guys follow me if I show you my pussy? Oh. Come here, kitty. The implant continues to have an effect. Come here. Truly oh, you son of a bitch. Potentially. Kitty. Access to their net. Oh, let's get for you sure. around there. Put you here. That won't be Everyone easy. say hi. We this is Barry. Link. He's an asshole. And that would mean I am an asshole. Asshole, 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 like asshole. Said, and, 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 not easy. I am a kitty. Still, Hang on. The best lead My kitty can play the drums. It's time to play the game. Go away, kitty. He doesn't want to go. Just kind of <laughs> <laughs> right, access the alien network. So we get to build a thing, and then we literally stab people in the back of the head to jack into their network. Guys, we get to fucking mind jack people. I should have made Barry White a character in this game. That's the name of the cat, by the way. We're going to need a specialized facility to test All right, we're going to finish I'll the magnetic weapons here. We're not going to have Commander. really access or the ability to use them yet, but still. I'd rather get the research out of the way now since it's such a goddamn, you know. All right, so we can gain, we can go up 116 there or 
116 there. Or we can grab supplies, or we can keep looking at these. Uh oh. The an <coughs> we have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials. Ooh. Assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. <laughs> ah, shit. We've got a raid here we can do. Operation Senseless King. Let's launch this. And I think this will be the first time since the squad upgrade we'll be able to do this. So we'll be able to have five people, um, which goes a really long way towards increasing survivability. All right. So Maz made his way back in. We got Nebraska here. Colorado from Kenya and Wendy. All right, who do we replace? Because, oops, not edit, no. I want to get Tobro back in this, but you're broke. Tobro is broke, so I guess we're going with several sharpshooters here. Oh, well. <laughs> Having several sharpshooters, if you play very conservatively, actually makes the game pretty easy because you can just sit them in the back and move the guy, move your other guys into full cover um, and let the snipers basically take care of it. It's actually really fucking good. Oh, no, it's, excuse me. <laughs> and with the, uh, whatchamacallit, a battlefield game, a person demanding for action, and the last three people from the other mission, marvelous, I love it. A battlefield game, Wildland, oh, that's fucking funny, dude. Battlefield, <laughs> god damn it, potato, that's actually really fucking funny. A person demanding action. Which one was that? Weather? Can't remember. Oh, fucking. That's right. All right, so this one's just straight up eliminate hostiles. All right, so this one, this is going to be straight up just like... Avoid destroying critical supplies and neutralize all enemy targets. All right. We're going to move these guys into actual cover here. Uh, but other than that, the snipers ain't going to move much. Oh, look. You could hear Simon from Kenya speak. He sounded very Kenya-y. Ha 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 ha. Uh-oh. All right. Going to kill some house tiles, man. <laughs> Put you into Overwatch. Oh yeah, Tobro ain't here, so we don't have uh, access to anybody who can actually um, shred armor. Good news is we're concealed, so now that I, now that I can move everybody up in place, we can take this thing out before it becomes a problem. So first things first, the snipers are going to shoot at that damn thing. All right, let's see. Looks like weather here has uh, a pretty decent hit rate. Okay, what did that have? Five armor, I think? Hit the armor. Yeah, or four armor, excuse me. We're yep, okay, I get it, it's fine. We're worried about fucking. We're not worried about fucking. Alright, here we go. Simon for the kill. Frag it and see if anyone is inside the train or near it, too. You know what? I don't disagree with that. Uh, that might actually end up being the smart move here. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, we've got another turret. Shit. Okay, this will be another sniper thing here. Actually, you can go for 69. Uh, Wendy with the 69. Get it? Do you guys get it? I hope you fucking get it. Because if you don't, you're fucking idiot now. Moving to designated position. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can we get the frag grenade out that far? We cannot. Oh, man. So that was actually a useless move. We're going to move Tano into cover here. And from there, we're going to do a overwatch for now. Not that it's going to help with anything. <clears throat> Who are you shooting at? Hey, that works well. <laughs> Rip organs. 
He 24-7 has a cigarette in his mouth. He, he's like the, uh... Let's see. I want Weather to get this kill. Good job, Weather. That is not good. Screwing everything up when you least ex... Wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, hey, I forgot Tano is still, uh... Oh, you don't even have eyes on the... Wait a minute. Why can't you fire at it? You have squad sight. All of my squad can see it. Hmm. He fucking is gonna have to take this one. <laughs> hey, not too bad. Target neutralized. <laughs> Man, my nose is getting all stuffy from that from that damn cat. I fucked up, you guys. I'm gonna die from pussy shock. I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> It's a real... it's a condition! Eat My Shit is still totally concealed. Which might actually help us out here. Because that means if Eat My Shit, um, actually runs into enemies... <laughs> oh, here we go. So never mind, uh, trying to get the jump on anybody. Uh, but whoever that was, they're fucking dead. Thanks, Kenya. Thanks for the commentary there, Kenya. All right, where do we want to fucking okay. go? We're gonna move you up here. All right, so they're gonna have to actually move to get to a place where uh, that person will be able to hit us. So we're just gonna sit on Overwatch and wait for him to come and, uh, you know, hang out. Moving. Unless Wildlands triggers a mirror. Overwatch. Right. So everybody's just gonna hang out and wait to see what happen. <laughs> I'm allergic to puss. Nothing happen. Okay, great. I'm headed there now. Advent troops here. Okay. Oh, that took a while. I was wondering, I'm like, are they gonna just actually are you able to capture enemies and examine what they do? Um I'm pretty sure you can in this game. I'm not hundred percent, but uh, it may be possible. Okay, 38% and 22%. Do your thing. Make the magic happen. Fucking what? What? Fucking Simon, what are you doing? What are you- you're making this too easy. Why are you fucking- why- why are you doing this? Seriously, bro, I'm getting real fucking pissed off at your ability to shoot everything! Fucking Jesus Christ! Okay. Okay, that was that was genuinely impressive. I'm impressed. You did it. Holy shit, that fucking shot. Dude. Seriously. Oh, and hey, weather's going to be able to get a shot here. Weather's got a 5% chance. Fuck that. Okay. Um I might actually be able to increase that by removing cover. So, where are you? I'm for Wildlands to do its thing. That enemy was from Mass Effect. Did you see that helmet? Okay, there we go. It's out of cover. Let's get uh, some promotions for our sniper in the back there. Watch it not actually increase the... It's still 5%. Fuck it. Do it. Do it. Hit it, you son of a bitch. Fucking get it. Missed. Damn. Okay. Okay, fine. I got nothing. <laughs> But eat my shit is still concealed. Oh, so I should hopefully be able to get over here and just get a pot shot on it. Oh, it didn't destroy its cover. That's why we didn't have the issue. Do it. I bet you won't, pussy. I like it. Ah. That person's been revealed. No! Snack! Uh-oh. Snack real bad. Actually, Lady Snack is pretty great. Oh, you gonna slap me? Oh no! Disoriented the shotgunman. Okay, this is uh, this is kind of a problem here. It's actually more than kind of a problem, but uh, we should be all right. All right, seventy percent. 
because that one's dead. I probably should have moved her ass. Oh, good. We can pick some stuff up. But they're already there to pick some stuff up. And unfortunately, both of my snipers have to reload here, I think. Yeah. So this might be a painful round here. Actually, let's see. Where was the other one? The other one's there. I want to get that Snack, because the Snacks can cause some serious problems. So if we get rid of its... cover, we should be able to get a good hit on it with fucking something. 63% even with disorientation is the best chance we're going to get, so let's hope. Damn it! Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. We're going to have problems here. Alright, hopefully what the snake does is wrap somebody. <clears throat> Tried. Okay, good. That's good. MLG shoots a grenade and somehow got to the snake. <laughs> Overwatch game of the year. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that poison is a big problem. Oh, oh. And, oh, this is real bad. Between the poison and that, somebody's going to die again. Oh, shit. Oh, we need to get him out of there. best thing we can do right now, because I forgot to equip a mother fucking god damn I forgot to equip a medic on Smug Wendy here. Let's see, can we take... Okay, perfect. Aid protocol and a grenade for the fucking win. Alright, sweet. We gotta hit in on him there. Apparently weather can't hit him. But Simon sure as shit can. You ready to save the fucking day? Two. Oh, it dodged it. It grazed it. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, Tano needs to get a fucking kill here anyways. Move Wildlands over here. Grab this thing. Perfect. The hair trigger. Okay, good. The more mods we get, the better. And I'd rather grab them than buy them. Here. All right, all right, all right. With a close range shotgun, 100%. Is Tano gonna miss it? 50-50, Tano's gonna miss it. Watch. I was lying. Yeah. Hopefully that's the end of the mission. Because it's not, we're gonna take some fucking poison damage here. Damn it, there's still enemies somewhere. Where are the enemies? How did she get poisoned? Because she was next to him? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, luckily, they have enough health. That basically means I have a, a four-turn limit here. All right, we're going to move Weather up, actually, because Weather's having a hell of a hard time hitting people from back here. Oh, this is immediately becoming kind of a problem. All right. I just want to move up and, and, like, catch the enemies in our sight at this point. At least, uh, eat my shit didn't get, uh, sighted here. Right. So you're gonna reveal the area over here. That's the equipment we're after. Okay. We have to do our best to avoid destroying the gear while we secure the area. Okay, cool. Alright, so there's gotta be more of them back here towards the end of the train. So we're gonna reload. And we're going to bide our time here. Hopefully, maybe the poison will wear off. That would be nice. Why are you panicked from the po- You son of a bitch. Really? They're both panicked? Good call on the retreat, except for the fact that they're panicked now, so I'm kind of fucked. No, we're not going to long watch you yet. I want to move my shit around here and see if we can't... See if we can't get eyes on the last uh, couple guys here. 
Yeah, the evac probably would have totally worked if it wasn't for the fact that they panicked. Thanks for hanging out, Stax. I appreciate it. Like, the poison's got to wear off, right? I hope it fucking wears off. The panic needs to fucking wear off. Still? Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so it's now on two snipers and a guy with a fucking shotgun. To take out... There's gotta be only, like, one enemy left, right? I mean, there can't possibly be more than one left. There's a barrel I can shoot over there. Here, let's move up here. Except the barrel's right next to the fucking thing. Oh, great. Okay, here we go, and they're gonna spot me, and we're gonna have problems here. Alright, hopefully our snipers will be able to take care of, uh, this situation. Zero percent. Fuck, are you kidding me? Okay. So what I actually am going to do is move Simon up here. Oh no. And here goes Tano. Oh. Tano is killed. God damn it. God damn it. Tano's dead. God damn it. Because those two cucks decided to get. Oh my god. Oh my god, we lost Tano. Dude. <laughs> Tony, all of your friends are dead. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, the panic's removed. Oh, you guys can fucking help now. How nice of you to come to the fucking fight after all of our friends have died. You fucking sons of fucking bitches. And Kenya can't even shoot. Oh, Kenya can't shoot anybody because he can't fucking see anybody. Alright, so we need to move you up here. Got the flank on that one. And you just miss. Fucking, you just fucking miss. You stupid bitch. And Wildlands doesn't have any goddamn grenades left. So that's nice. All right, kill the flanked one. You better fucking do it. Good job, Maspaz. I'm gonna have to recruit people. Like, what I'm gonna have to do at this damn point is seriously straight up... Okay, come on, move, move into my little line of sight there. Come on. Yeah, yeah, Kenya gonna get you. X gonna give it to ya. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And there goes Mazbaz now. Killed. Killed. Oh my fucking god. Oh, are you fucking kidding me with this fucking dog shit right here? All right, so he's inside my sniper. All right, you've got a 45% chance. How about with the pistol? 100% chance. Fucking right in the face. Oh, my God. Target neutralized. This has been brutal. We all fucking died. All right, 71%. Take us home. Take us home, Simon. Simon, you've been the fucking hero. Ooh, grazed it. Okay. So it looks like... Looks like Wendy's gonna have a chance to redeem her ass here. Get up here, do the job. No. I'm gonna shoot that. 85%. Okay. Enemy eliminated. That was, uh... Status confirmed. All that was down fucking rough. Secure. Holy shit. We got some stuff, I guess. I cannot believe I took so much damage and that Oh my god. We lost all of our boys. 
Well, unfortunately, that forces my hand, and I'm going to have to conclude the stream for the night here just to build up some more of our bros again. Potato, you're going in the game. All of our boys are coming back as 2.0. It's going to happen. Um, so on that note, let's get back to base here, fix up the stuff, and then we'll, and then we'll, and then we'll conclude from there. But while I'm here, and while we're going through the motions, I want to thank everybody who came out to the stream. I genuinely appreciate y'all coming out and hanging out. Get the medical protocol on you. Fucking smug Wendy, son of a bitch. Two KIAs, shit. Um, if you guys have been hanging out in the stream, and you liked what you saw, you should give us a follow. Um, I appreciate everybody who follows. It's anno it's it's... I genuinely appreciate everybody who comes and hangs out because it's fun. Um, this stream will be archived over on our YouTube channel, which you can find in the link below the video here. Uh, we also do full Let's Plays over on that channel and funny comedy videos and stuff. Uh, myself and X in the chat here, my mod, are currently in the middle of a uh, uh, Resident Evil 5 cooperative playthrough. Um, so if, if you like the sound of that, you should definitely go over there and subscribe. Um, if you guys follow us on Twitter, uh, which you can also find in the links below, that's where we do all, uh, or that's where we give all the updates on um, what's happening with our streams and when. Uh, so that's going to be your best place to actually get information um, on what streams are coming up. Um, I think tomorrow I have, I think maybe an Armored Core stream planned or something like that. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. It's on the Twitter for sure. Actually, here, I'll look it up really quick while I'm sitting here, you know... <laughs> shit, that's the wrong app. Uh, while I'm sitting here shilling for myself. Uh, let's go to me. Got my profile. Alright, let's see. For the rest of the week, we've got... Um, oh, Wednesday's gonna be Silent Hill. I think we're gonna uh, marathon Silent Hill, the original, throughout the day. Um, we got about an hour into it a little uh, uh, back, um, uh, but I've got a, a buddy who wants to watch all of Silent Hill, so if you're interested in that, you should check us out tomorrow. Uh, Thursday is going to be Armored Core Silent Line. We've been playing through all of the PlayStation 2 Armored Core games, and that's been a blast. And Friday is going to be Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, this game will get streamed again either either over the weekend or Monday or just one of the streams that's not announced because I stream two or three times um, two or three times a day usually uh, so yeah once again thanks to everybody who came out I really appreciate you coming and hanging out and hopefully we'll see you next time